Hello and welcome to RPG Elite, where we put the RP back in RPG, giving you the tools and tips to help you have a more immersive and enjoyable RPG experience. My name is Servant of Shiloh, RPG extraordinaire. I'll be your host on this channel. And this is our first official video on our channel. It's kind of exciting, but it's a hobby for me. I'm not doing this for money. It's a hobby. This is a love. This is something that I use, uh, you know, to relax and enjoy company with other people. So, and I've been doing this for over 25 years. So, uh, I thought, you know, maybe another perspective on this is needed as well. Now, what can you expect if you keep coming back to this channel? Well, Number one, you can get some reviews on some role-playing game tools, um, even books and stuff that will help to kind of stir the imagination, especially for uh, for GMs, game masters, or dungeon masters. Um, also, how-to videos, and that's how we're actually going to kick off the channel. Um, you can see this moving here in front of your face. Um, we're going to kick off the channel with a kind of overview to a how to series um also we're going to be focusing now our focus here on this channel is going to be on the rp the role playing this is for the role player in you now you might be saying to yourself oh man you know i don't role play or role playing what's that i don't i don't even know what role playing is how do you come to a role playing game and not know what role playing is? Because I've heard people say that before. But anyway, <laughs> but I so I added it in there because I've heard people say that. What I want to do is really bring out the role player in you. I want you to come to the table, not just to sit around and roll some dice and get loud and eat food and not really get into an immersive experience. Um, I want you to get into immerse, in an immersive experience. And the way to do that really is through role playing. And so this channel is going to be focused a lot more on the role playing side of things, though there'll be some other things, as I mentioned. Now, we're going to kick this off with a overview of a virtual tabletop um, that I recently found. Now, I have a group that I have been GMing for, oh gosh, um, I'm going to say about eight months now. Um, and it, I just had a new player join maybe about two months ago or something like that. And uh, we met face to face every two weeks. But we decided that in 2019, we were going to go ahead and play every week, except we're not going to play face to face every week on the weeks that we don't play face to face. We will play online. And so I was looking for a virtual tabletop. Now, I had played with map tools before years and years ago. I liked it because it was an agnostic system. Uh, it wasn't geared towards any one role playing game. You can customize it. And most of them you can, but some of them, you know, OK, they they they're kind of favoring certain games, which I will not mention. And uh, so. For the virtual tabletop that I was looking for, I wanted it to be an agnostic system where you could customize it for yourself, but at the same time not be so code intensive which is what map tools is it has a very deep learning curve and you need to learn code and all the rest of this other stuff that i just don't have the time for is i like that stuff i'm geeky like that but i don't have the time to do that enter skirmish and this has been a lifesaver i have been messing with this thing now for days and i am impressed even in its beta mode it is I'm loving this thing. Now, I have found a few quirks in it because it's in beta. And these are things that I'm going to report. But I'm telling you, you can go and grab this and start playing your campaign in Skirmish right now, just in the beta version of it. Uh, my hope, though, is that this continues to develop. I've been trying to get a hold of the devs and it's 
been kind of slow going to see if anybody's there. You know, is this thing on type of thing? So, but like I said, even in its current version right now, in its current state, you can go, you can get it, and you can roll with it. So I want to go ahead and just give you a basic overview of how to set it up and what it looks like. So you can go to the website at skirmish dash vt dot com and here's the website up here and what you need to do in order to set this up is once you get to this page here go to the store and at the store you're going to be downloading two things you're going to be downloading the server and you're going to be downloading the client now preferably whoever has the best computer should be the one that's serving your games in your group but um, even if you want to mess around with the game to try it out for yourself, maybe you're just a player and you're not a DM, you still are going to need both the server and the client. You cannot run the client without the server. I'm going to tell you that right now. You cannot run the client without the server. And I'm going to show you this in a second. So first, download the server, get that set up. Second, download the client, get that set up. Now, I've already downloaded the server and installed it, and it's pretty straightforward in how to install it, so I'm not going to go through all of that. So what I'm going to go to do, the, my server right now is running in the background, which is on this computer that I have right here. I'm just going to go ahead and open up my client. Now, in order to open up the virtual tabletop, you need to open up the client, even if you are the server. You still need to open up the client. So this is me. Let me go ahead and get in here now this little window right here if you do not have a server up and running all you will see is that circle going round and round and round and it just never stops uh, nothing will ever go uh it just will be a circle with a black spot on it um or a black circle or a black square i should say um so you need to have that server running so this right here is my server and i'm just going to click join and watch this now here it comes here it comes Ba-boom! There it is. The skirmish virtual table top. So let me give you a, a quick rundown on how to get around and what things are. Over here, you have the left side panel. And if you go real close to it, you can resize it to whatever you want. And it goes down to about that. That's it. That's the limit of how small it can get. Now, if you don't want that there, you can always go up here to the user interface and when it says show left panel, just un just click on that and it'll disappear. If you want to show it again, click on it and it reappears. If you go down to this section here, you have a place for PCs, hostile NPCs, and neutral NPCs. If you go ahead and highlight on that, what happens is you get this little portrait window up here. And then you can click on this window here and you get a fuller portrait, which I think is kind of cool. Click on it again and it disappears. Now... If you want to, like, let's say you make a token, and I'm not going to go through that, you can go over to the Skirmish YouTube channel. They only have, like, seven videos, but they do show you how to set up your token. But I am going to have a video coming up as well that shows you how to set up your token because I was messing with that, and I saw some things that uh, they didn't have. And like I said, we're, we wanna, we want you to be immersive here. So in order to take your token and put it onto the surface over here, you would think that you could just take this, click on it and drag it, right? No, you can't do that. So how do you do it? You highlight it and then you just double click anywhere and it will show up. Same thing with any other thing that you have on there and it'll just show up. There you go. If you don't want it on there, you right click it and this when you shows up and you just remove it from the board or you can control backspace and it's this window is going to pop up and you just push yes now i'm going to keep this here because we're going to move over here to the zoom window and this zoom window here is for you know you can move it around you know move your move it around on the map wherever you want to move it and then you can zoom in and zoom out and let's look at this this is really cool I, I think that little uh, outline there is just, I don't know. I think that's cool. But anyway, let's go down to the bottom here. 
the bottom is you have a chat window. This is the chat window. Hi. I'm in chat. Ta-da. So that's the chat window. And over here is the display window for die rolls. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to do that for because the die rolls and how to handle die rolls in this, I'm going to have a whole separate video on that. Okay, so I'm just getting you to an overview here. You can do the same thing with these two bottom windows as you can with the side here. And you can take both of them and take them and expand them, take them down. You can also go to the side and actually do nothing, I guess. Uh, it's not doing anything now, which is unfortunate because... You can do it over here where you can make your windows bigger and smaller, but and over here, for some odd reason, you cannot. You might be able to do it if you take off this panel and go sideways, yeah. So I guess that was the, eh, I guess that was the limit on how far you can move. Now, the one thing that I have noticed in the beta version here is that you, You can move you can move all this stuff and resize it and do all the rest of that stuff um you can make this small and i would rather make it smaller it's going to show up big no matter what you do but i would rather make it smaller over here and, and, and move around now up here you have a little uh, button to slide back and forth one is dm mode one is player mode and as you can see things change over here in player mode and over here it comes back in DM mode. It also changes when you are a player, you're assigned something and you have fog of war on. Again, we're going to cover that later on. Over here, you have the zoom. And you can zoom in one of two ways. You can zoom with the scroll on your mouse, your mouse scroll, which is probably going to be the way that everybody does it. Or if you don't want to do it like that, then you can zoom this way. Also, right here are your friends who can connect to your server. Um, I'm, I know I only have one friend. I'm lonely. So lonely. Um, but we, like I said, we're just trying this out. And then over here you have what's called the package manager. And we'll talk about that in a separate video as well. Uh, we'll talk about that when we talk about the die roller and things like that. So there it is, folks. That's a basic overview of uh, of Skirmish Virtual Table Top. The interface is nice. It's clean. Uh, you can resize some of the windows and things like that. You can get rid of some. And so it's, it's pretty nice. And then when you don't need, like I said, when you don't need things, then you just, you know, get rid of them, get rid of panels and things like that. So in our next video, we're going to go a little bit further and um, start doing some of the particular features of skirmish so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you will come back click the like button if you do and we'll have much more because uh like i said skirmish doesn't have a lot of it they have like seven videos and i plan on doing much more than seven videos so come back and until the next time see ya